ईडी हीट और बीआरएस नेता के काविता द लेखक गेट केस द डे आफ्टर फ्रंटमैन अरुण पिल्लई वाज अरेस्टेड द ईडी इज नाउ समन तेलंगाना चीफ मिनिस्टर्स डॉटर के काविता ऑन द 9th ऑफ मार्च बीआरएस नेता नाउ हिट्स बैक एट द बीजेपी बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट कॉलिंग दिस द सेंटर्स प्लॉय टू आर्म ट्विस्ट देम शी सेज दैट शी विल नॉट बाउ डाउन टू एनी इंटिमिडेशन टैक्टिक्स पार्टी शी कॉल्स हरसेल्फ इनफैक्ट जनरलाइजेस हर to her party and says the party collectively collectively in telangana will fight back the center's push she asserted that these tactics won't work kavita in fact will be confronted with arun ramchandran pillai who was allegedly used as a front man by k kavita pillai in his statement to the enforcement directorate has said that there was a deal between kavita and the amadmi party where in exchange of kickbacks paid to the tune of 100 crore rupees was discussed ED has now named Kavita in the case charge sheet accusing her of holding at least 65% stake in Indo Spirits a liquor company she was questioned by the probe agency at her Hyderabad residence on 11th of December last year the summons started a massive war of words between BJP and the BRS we have cooperated she answered in the past whomever they actually uh, you know fixed in this case all of them have appeared before ED and they have answered many times they have investigated despite that this selective targeting is happening nobody in the country understood this case is what is this case all about except ed cbi and bjp and today ed cbi and it are working as extended arms of bjp for selective targeting and harassing the opposition leaders you see the case now whoever are there in bjp today who were joined from other parties these agencies go slow on them whatever I'm, whatever you know allegations they are making nowhere the evidence found is this completely fabricated the fact that uh, mr arun ramchandra pillai's remand report directly reflects the fact that he calls he specifically has stated and has agreed to the fact that um, he was the frontman he he played as a frontman to kalvakuntla kavita's agenda of bringing the entire south group cartel uh, into the delhi excise policy tender process so as to demonize it in such a way that corruption had entered the entire liquor policy the excise policy the new uh, excise policy at all the stages today it is come to light that she is involved in a horrible liquor case itself by this the whole of telangana women feel very ashamed of it it's actually very very uh, humiliating that one telangana woman has been involved in a liquor scam itself and i think justice has to be done and yes i appreciate uh, the system the departments that are carrying out the investigation and i think yes this ca case has to go on and the culprits have to be brought to light unless kavita will go there because everybody was saying that she is involved finally she herself she is saying that I am not involved anywhere. It is a vindicated is taking by the BJP government. So what she will do appear after meeting with the ED people, after appearing, after discussion, what it will come out, then we will make any comment because corruption is a corruption everywhere. Rule adopting everybody. Rule is not only single person. Rule is a rule. So uh, after the only I will comment. All right, I'm going to cut across to Apurva Jayachandra joining us live right outside Kavita's residence. Apurva, ED has summoned her. Where does she have to appear? Is it in Hyderabad itself, or she'll have to come to Delhi? Tell us a little more about the allegations le level against Kavita. She was uh, raided by the ED back in December. Months later, now she's been summoned. Listen, Abla. In fact, we're seeing this is not the first time K Kavita's, uh, you know, uh, name has been, uh, you know, put down in the liquor uh, gate scam as well. We're seeing just the last couple of months as well, series of people linked with K Kavita have been summoned by the ED officials. In fact, uh, Kavita's. Uh, you know close links uh, with her including that of the former ca that he had been questioned by enforcement directorate officials cbi also had question and the raided houses of several others including that of arun ramachandra pillai and uh, you know abhishek boynapilli all of them who have close links with that of uh, k kavita that's what we know in fact i am right outside kavita's residence over here and clearly uh, you know you can also see the kind of police deployment here in the uh, uh, 
vicinity as well kavita house just right now on the corner heavy police deployment here even as uh, since early this morning as we are seeing how the kind of uh, you know uh, battle is on between kavita and officials in fact in a statement today uh, while addressing as uh, kavita has also gone on to state that uh, you know she is going to go ahead and cooperate with the officials there as the investigation continues she also goes on to state that yes this is nothing but a political vendetta by the bjp remember in the chart sheet that was filed in the delhi liquor scam top names including that of k kavita and the deputy uh, delhi's deputy chief minister manish sodia and several others had been named in that delhi liquor scam as well in fact in the recent interrogation of arun ramachandra pillai who was Uh, arrested by officials just a uh, day back uh, in that charge in the remand report that that had been filed we also get to know that uh, you know there was allegedly a south group uh, that was a certain place that south group that was uh, right. it is alleged led by uh, several top names including that of k kavita and we're also getting to learn in the remand report copy that arun ramachandra pillai was acting on behalf of k kavita right. and for the remand report also so says so see- all of this Absolutely as we see the probe now into liquor gate intensifying a south cartel has unraveled here with the enforcement directorate now summoning K Kavita let me take you through a quick look at the south cartel which really has tracked back to K Kavita of Telangana BRS Neta and KCR's daughter herself has been summoned by the enforcement directorate and we believe that Arun Ramachandran Pillai who is said to be Kavita's front man he's been arrested by the enforcement directorate and and soon after his arrest Kavita has been summoned and we see this the the images that you see on your screens here are all those people who are likely involved in this scam of course investigation is underway there isn't a definitive um, d- uh, conviction yet but suspects are abhishek bonipalli boinpalli in fact apart from kavita all these other uh, people who have associated with kavita to pull off this scam include this businessman of hyderabad also kavita's close aide bachi babu maganta shrivasulu reddy who is also a vice rcp mp ragav maganta shrinivasulu reddy's son who is also said to be involved in this samir mahendru indo spirits md sarath reddy or bindo in fact or bindo pharma promoter who's also been uh, currently the ed is now investigating so these are the faces the key faces who are likely associated with k kavita the brs leader who have who are under the scanner of the central agencies right now in connection with the same delhi liquor policy which may have this south cartel link basically to suggest that these are the people who are who have likely helped manish sisodia the delhi government pull off a liquor policy that the the central agencies believe was designed for kickbacks and commission